students my name is neeti said and my topic for the presentation is cell cycle we'll be studying cell cycle in detail and thanks for watching edupedia word videos so let's proceed towards our topic that is cell cycle actively dividing eukaryote cell pass through a series of stages known collectively as the cell cycle two gap phases that is g1 and g2 and an s phase that is a synthesis phase in which the genetic material is duplicated and an m phase okay in which mitosis partition the genetic material and the cell divides okay so what is g1 phase g1 phase is the metabolic uh, changes that prepare the cell for division at a certain point the restriction point that is a zero point where the cell is committed to and moves into the s phase okay and then comes the s phase dna synthesis replicates the genetic material each chromosome now consists of two sister chromatids g2 cells is a this is the g2 phase and in this phase metabolic changes assemble the cytoplasmic material necessary for mitosis and cytokinesis and this is m phase okay uh, in m phase a nuclear division or the mitosis is followed by a cell division that is cytokinesis this is cytokinesis where cytoplasm divide and the parent cell becomes two daughter cells with identical genetic information okay you may ask what is mitosis mitosis is a form of a eukaryotic cell division that produces two daughter cells with the same genetic component as the parent cell chromosomes replicated during the s phase are divided in such a way as to ensure that each daughter cell receives a copy of every chromosome in actively dividing animal cell the whole process takes about 1 hour okay The replicated chromosomes are attached to the mitotic apparatus that aligns them and then separates the sister chromatids to produce an even partitioning of the genetic material. The separation of the genetic material in a mitotic nuclear division uh, that is known as karyokinesis is followed by a separation of the cell cytoplasm in a cellular division that is known as cytokinesis to produce two daughter cells, okay? In some single celled organism mitosis forms the basis of the asexual reproduction in diploid multicellular organism sexual reproduction involves the fusion of two haploid gametes to produce a diploid zygote okay mitotic division of the zygote and the daughter cells are then responsible for the subsequent growth and the development of the organism in the adult organism mitosis plays a role in cell replacement wood healing and tumor formation okay now we will talk about the prophase in this spindle fiber appears and chromosome becomes in the condensed form okay prophase occupies over half of the mitosis the nuclear membrane it breaks down to form a number of the small vesicles and the nucleolus disintegrates okay a structure known as centrosome duplicates itself to form two daughter centrosome that migrate to opposite ends of the cell the centrosome organizes the production of microtubules that form the spindle fibers that constitute the mitotic spindle okay the chromosome condenses into compact structure that means it gets condensed each replicated chromosome can now be seen to consist of two identical chromatids held together by a structure known as centromere okay this is the centromere of the chromosome this is the central part okay then comes a prometaphase in this spindle fiber attached to the chromosome and the chromosome has become more uh, compacted condensed structure okay in the prometaphase the chromosome led by their centromeres migrate to the equatorial plane in the midline of the cell at right angles to the axis formed by the centrosome this region of the mitotic spindle is now known as metaphase stage okay the spindle fiber bind to the structure associated with the centromere of each chromosome called as kinetochore okay individual spindle fibers bind to a kinetochore structure on each side of the centromere the chromosome continue to condense okay then comes a 
third stage that is metaphase. In metaphase, the chromosome align themselves along a metaphase plate of the spindle fiber, as you can see. Okay, and then comes the anaphase. In anaphase, uh, this is the shortest stage of the mitosis. The centromeres divide, and the sister chromatids of each chromosome are pulled apart or disjoint and move to the opposite end of the cell, pulled by spindle fibers attached to the kinetochore region. The separated sister chromatids are now referred to as daughter chromosomes. Okay? It is the alignment and the separation in the metaphase and the anaphase that is important in ensuring that each daughter cell receives a copy of every chromosome. Okay? Then comes the fourth stage that is the last stage known as telophase. In this nuclear membrane reforms, chromosome decondense and the spindle fiber disappear. So, uh, and it is a reversal of many of the processes ob observed during prophase. The nuclear membrane reforms around the chromosome grouped at either pole of the cell and the chromosome uncoil and become diffuse and the spindle fibers disappear. Okay. And then comes the cytokinesis. This is the cytokinesis in which the cytoplasm divides. It just come after the mitosis phase. Okay, this is the final cellular division to form two new cells. In plant, a cell plate forms along the line of the metaphase plate. In animal, there is a constriction of the cytoplasm. The cell then enters interface. The interval between my two mitotic divisions. Okay. This is a prophase in which nucleolus uh, disappears, chromatin condenses into chromosome and separation of the enterosomes and formation of the mitotic spindle takes place. Okay. And this is the metaphase in which uh, chromosomes align themselves along the metaphase plate of the spindle apparatus as you can see these are the spindle fibers and these are the uh, chromosome that align them that have aligned themselves along the metaphase plate of the spindle apparatus okay and now comes our anaphase in anaphase this is the shortest stage of the mitosis as i have told you the centromeres divide as you can see th in the metaphase they were joined and they were aligned in the metaphase plate but now in the anaphase stage they have the centromeres or wide and the sister chromatids of each chromosome are pulled apart these are the chrom chromosome that are pulled apart okay or disjoint and move to the opposite ends of the cell which are pulled by spindle fibers attached to the kinetic core region okay the separated sister chromatids are now referred to as uh, daughter chromosomes okay it is the alignment and the separation in metaphase and anaphase that is important in ensuring that each daughter cell receives a copy of every chromosome okay and then comes a uh, this is the uh, D video of uh, prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase as you can see that uh, in the prophase uh, it occupies over half of the mitosis uh, and the nuclear membrane breaks down to form a number of a small vesicle and nucleolus disintegrates okay a structure known as centrosome they duplicate itself to form two daughter centrosome that migrate to the opposite end of the cell and then comes a metaphase in which the cells uh, chromosome align themselves uh, along the metaphase stage or uh, plate of the spindle apparatus and then comes the anaphase, which is the shortest stage of mitosis, in which uh, each sister chromatids are pulled apart. See, it's pulling apart. Okay. And uh, then comes a telophase. Uh, it is a final stage and the reversal of many of the processes observed during prophase. Okay. Uh, in this, uh, the gro chromosome grouped at either pole of the cell. The chromosome uncoil and become diffuse and the spindle fiber thus gets disappeared. See, this is the telophase stage. Okay. So, in short, uh, there are four stages G1, S, G2 and M. Okay. Uh, G in G1 uh, stage, G1 is entered when... Uh, 
I mean cell, cell is entered when a uh, cell senses growth signals or mitogens. These start the process of cell division which is linked to the cell size. Proteins and mRNAs are synthesized in G1. Cell crosses restriction point 8 to 10 hours into G1 point of no return. Cell is committed to divide and die. Okay. And then comes a S phase. DNA is synthesized in this phase and many cytotoxic drugs in cancer act here to destroy DNA. And then comes a transition between G2 and M phase where cell arrange and checks chromosome. There is a major checkpoint here to ascertain the DNA replication and chromosome segregation has successfully occurred. If not, a normal cell enter apoptosis. That means a planned cell death. Okay. And uh, then comes the mitotic phase or the M phase where mitosis chromosome drawn apart by molecular motors cell divides. Many cancer drugs like Texol acts here freezing the process and causing apoptosis that is a programmed cell death. Okay. This is the proper illustration of the duration of the cell cycle. The length of the cell cycle is important because it determines how quickly an organism can multiply. For single celled organism, this rate determines how quickly the organism can reproduce new independent organism. For a higher order species, the length of the cell cycle determines how long it takes to replace damaged cells. Okay, The duration of cell cycle will from organism to organism and from cell to cell. Certain fly embryos sport cell cycle that last only 8 minutes per cycle. Some mammals, they take much longer than that up to a year in certain liver cells. Okay. Generally, however, for fast dividing mammalian cells, the length of the cell uh, cycle is approximately 24 hours. Okay. As you can see, uh, 9 hours plus 4 hours 13 hours 13 hours plus 1 hour that is 14 hours and then 14 plus 10 that means 24 hours so this proves that the mammalian cell uh, takes about 24 hours to complete the duration of the cell cycle most of the differences in cell cycle du duration between the species and the cells are found in the duration of the specific cell cycle phases. DNA replication, for example, generally proceeds farther, faster, the simpler the organism. One reason for this trend is simply that prokaryotes have smaller genomes and not as much DNA to be replicated across the species and organismal uh, city. Embryonic cells uh, have an increased need for rapidity in the cell cycle because they need to multiply for the development of the embryo. Okay, Early embryonic cell cycle often omit G1 and G2 and quickly proceed to, uh, through successive rounds of S phase and mitosis. Okay, For these cells, the main concern is not the regulation of the cell cycle but rather in the speed of the cell proliferation. Okay. So, in this section, we will discuss the breakdown of the duration of the mitosis G1, S and G2 for the general 24-hour cell cycle found in most cell. As we discussed in the previous section, the length of the G1 and G2 vary in cells based on the individual cell's level of preparedness for proceeding in the cell cycle. Remember, cells can enter G0 phase for extensive amount of time during G1 before continuing on to the S phase. Okay? If a cell has quickly undergone sufficient cell growth or DNA replication, the time spent in G1 and G2 will be decreased. Okay? It is seen that G1 is uh, about, uh, you can say this is the G1 and it is about the longest phase of the cell cycle. This can be explained by the fact that G1 follows cell division in mitosis. G1 represents the first chance for new cells have to grow. Cells usually remain in G1 for about 10 hours of the 24 total hours of the cell cycle. The length of S phase varies according to the total DNA that the particular cell 
cell contains. The rate of the synthesis of DNA is fairly constant between cells and species. Usually, cells will take between 5 and 6 hours to complete S phase. Okay, so this was the S phase. And G2 is the shorter, uh, lasts about 3 to 4 hours in most cell. In some, then interface generally takes between 18 to 20 hours. Mitosis during which the cell makes preparation for and complete cell division only takes about 2 hours. Okay. Now come to the interference. During interference, the cell undergoes normal growth process while also preparing for the cell division. In order for a cell to move from interface into the mitotic phase, many internal and external conditions must be met. The three stages of interfaces are G1, S and G2. Okay? This is G1 phase of the interface. Interface is the longest portion of the cell's life and has three subdivisions. First is the first gap that is G1 gap okay where the protein synthesis takes place organelles are produced and it also increases the volume of the cytoplasm. G1 is the intermediate phase that occupies the time between the end of the cell division in mitosis and the beginning of the DNA replication during S phase. During this time, the cell grows in preparation for DNA replication and certain intracellular components such as centrosomes undergo replication. Before a cell begins DNA replication, it must ensure that it is biologically ready to take on such a process. G1 is the phase when this cellular monitoring takes place okay now the duration of the G1 cycle G1 is typically the longest phase of the cell cycle as I have told you before this can be explained by the fact that G1 follows cells division in mitosis G1 represents the first chance for new cells to have to grow cell usually remain in G1 for about 10 hours of the 24 total hours of the cell cycle okay and then comes the G1 cycle cycle we have already discussed in the previous section of my presentation if you want to see you can go and uh, watch my cyclin CDK presentation now what is gap 1 cyclin gap 1 cyclins bind to the CDK protein this is a protein kinase during G1 phase once bound and activated the CDK signals the cells exit from G1 and entry into the S phase it Oh, that is synthesis phase when the cell reaches an appropriate size and the cellular environment is correct for DNA replication the cyclins begin to degrade G1 cyclone degradation deactivates the CDK and leads to the entry into the S phase that is synthesis phase this is the synthesis phase in which the cell duplicates its DNA okay in this phase uh, of cell cycle, when a DNA is packaged into a chromosome, is replicated. This event is an essential aspect of the cell cycle because replication allows for each cell created by cell division to have the same genetic makeup. During cell uh, synthesis phase, a number of the events additional to chromosome replication takes place. Cell growth continues through S phase as does the rate of synthesis of a number of proteins and enzymes that are involved in DNA synthesis. Once DNA replication is complete, the cell contains twice its normal number of the chromosome and becomes ready to enter the phase called G2 phase. Okay. Now what's the duration of the synthesis phase? The length of the S phase varies according to the total DNA that the particular cell contains. The rate of the synthesis of DNA is fairly constant between cell and species it usually it uh, cell takes between five and six hours to complete the s phase okay and then comes a second gap that is g2 phase where organelles are produced and it also increases volume of the cytoplasm g2 is an intermediate phase a time for the cell to ensure that it is ready to proceed in the cell cycle occurring between the end of the cell replication in s phase and the beginning of the cell division in mitosis g1 can be thought of a as a safety gap during which a cell can check to make sure that the entity of its DNA and other intracellular components have been properly duplicated okay 
and G2 also represents a cell final chance to grow before it is split into two independent cells during mitosis. What is the duration of G2 cycle? G2 is a shorter that lasts only two to four hours in most cells. In some, we can say that interphase generally takes between 18 and 20 hours. Mitosis during which the cell makes preparation for and completes cell division and only takes about two hours. Okay. Mitosis, the cell divides its chromosome into two identical sets, okay? These are the four phases of the mitosis, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telomerases, okay? In the prophase, nucleolus disappears, chromatin condenses into the chromosome, and separation of the entarosomes takes place, and along with this formation of the mitotic spindle. In metaphase, chromosome allying in the metaphase is played, that is a distinguishing feature of a metaphase uh, to four hours in most cells. In some, we can say that interphase generally takes between 18 and 20 hours. Mitosis during which the cell makes preparation for and completes cell division and only takes about 2 hours. Okay. Mitosis, the cell divides its chromosome into two identical sets, okay? These are the four phases of the mitosis, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telomerases, okay? In the prophase, nucleolus disappears, chromatin condenses into the chromosome, and separation of the entarosomes takes place, and along with this formation of the mitotic spindle. In metaphase, chromosome allying in the metaphase is played, that is a distinguishing feature of a metaphase uh, each of cell cycle. And in anaphase, chromatid begins to separate towards the opposite poles. This is the distinguishing feature of anaphase. And in the telophase, new nuclear envelope forms. It is just opposite of the prophase. And the nucleoli reappear, cell continue to elongate, and chromosome unfold back into chromatin. Okay? Mitosis. Let's split up. Mitosis is the most dramatic event In cells life cellular structure that have always been there suddenly disintegrate okay and um, new structures are constructed it is seen that new structures are constructed and it all culminates in the cell splitting in the half imagine quietly going about your business one day when you suddenly feel the bones of your skeleton <laughs> rearranging themselves, then you will find yourself being pinched apart from your midline. And before you know it, someone who looks just like you is sitting beside you. That's akin to what happens to a cell during mitosis. Okay? Mitosis is divided into six phases uh, that is, prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and cytokinesis, more specifically. Okay? The first five phases do the job of splitting the nucleus and its duplicated genetic information in the two. While the, in the final step, that is the cytokinesis, the entire cell is split into two identical daughter cells. Okay? The primary of mitosis is to make sure that each daughter cell gets one copy of each chromosome. Other cellular components like ribosome and mitochondria, they are also divided between two daughter cells, but their equal partitioning is less important. Okay? Primary goal of mitosis we have already studied. And now comes the mitotic cyclin. Mitotic cyclin it accumulates gradually during G2 phase, okay? Once they reach a high enough concentration, they can bind to CDKs, that is cyclin-dependent kinase protein, okay? When mitotic cyclin bind to CDK in G2 phase, the resulting complex is known as mitosis promoting factor, that is MPF. This complex acts as a signal for the G2 cell to enter mitosis, okay? Once the mitotic cyclin degrades, MPF is inactivated and the cell exists mitosis by dividing and re-entering G1 phase. Okay? The cellular signal that we 
described earlier such as uh, cell size is completion of the DNA replication and the cellular environment provide the signal that regulate the synthesis and the degradation of the cyclin okay dude meos mitosis starts in five minutes I can't believe you are not condensed yet This is the proper illustration of a cell cycle, how cell divides, starting from the prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase and cytokinesis. Okay? This is the proper illustration of the prophase. Okay? Prophase, which is the first stage of the mitosis, follows the S1 and G2 phases of the interface. In this, uh, phase can thus be marked by the following characteristic events. Chromosomal material condensed to form a mitotic, uh, a mitotic chromosome. And chromosomes are seen to be composed of two chromatids that are attached together at the centromere. Please uh, focus on the illustration part okay an initiation of the assembly of the mitotic spindle microtubules and proteinaceous component of the cell cytoplasm help in the process okay and cells at the end of the prophase when viewed under the microscope do not show golgi bodies endoplasmic reticulum nucleolus and nuclear envelope okay now we will focus on the other illustration that is metaphase okay the key feature of the metaphase are spindle fibers attached to the kinetochores of the chromosome as you can see and chromosomes are moved to the spindle equator and get aligned along the metaphase plate through the spindle fibers to both the poles okay and this is the illustration of anaphase in which um, at the at the onset of the anaphase each chromosome arranged at the metaphase plate is split simultaneously and uh, two daughter chromatids now referred to as chromosome of the future daughter nuclei begin their migration towards the two opposite poles okay as each chromosome moves away from the equatorial plate the centromere of each chromosome is towards the pole and hence at the leading edge with the arms of the chromosome trailing behind okay Thus, anaphase stage is characterized by uh, the following key events that is centromere split and chromatid separate and the uh, second is the chromatid that move to the opposite pole. Okay. This is the illustration of telophase and uh, at the beginning of the final stage of the mitosis that is a telophase the chromosome that have reached their respective pole decondense and lose their individuality. Okay, The individual chromosome can no longer be seen and chromatin material tend to collect in the mass in the two poles. Okay. There uh, are the key events which are seen in telophase is that the chromosome cluster at the opposite spindle fiber or spindle for poles and their ad identity is lost as discrete elements. Nuclear envelope assembles around the chromosome cluster and uh, what is seen is uh, endoplasmic reticulum Golgi complex and nucleolus reappears it, the nucleolus and uh, Golgi body and uh, ER they disappeared in the prophase that's why telophase is a reversal of the prophase in which ER that is endoplasmic reticulum Golgi complex and nucleolus they all reappears okay so this is the summary of prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase and cytokinesis. Okay? This is how cytokinesis takes place. Mitosis accomplishes not only the segregation of duplicated chromosome into the daughter nuclei, that is karyokinesis, but the cell itself is divided into two daughter cells by separate process called as cytokinesis, at the end of which cell division is uh, complete. Okay. In an animal cell, this is achieved by the appearance of a furrow in the plasma membrane. A furrow gradually deepens and uh, as you can see that it is deepening okay, in the plasma membrane and ultimately joins in the center dividing the cell cytoplasm into two. See it's dividing into two. Plant cell however are enclosed by a relatively in extensible cell wall therefore they undergo cytokinesis by different mechanisms okay 
in a plant cell wall formation starts in the center of the cell and grows outward to meet the existing lateral walls the formation of the new cell wall begins with the formation of a simple precursor called cell plate that represents the middle lamella between the walls of the two adjacent cells okay at the time of the cytoplasmic division organelles like mitochondria and plastids get distributed between the two daughter cells okay in some organism karyokinesis is not followed by cytokinesis as a result of which multinucleate condition arises leading to the formation of synecium okay this i have uh, explained to you and this is the animal cell and the plant cell these are the stages uh, g1 s d2 mitosis and cytokinesis thank you and stay tuned and keep watching edupedia word videos